What is up everybody and welcome back to Alt Knots. Welcome to another day here in the Yarn Dungeon where I am all about showing the world that crochet is killer. So today we have some new yarn to explore. But the other day I was in Joann's, you know, as I am looking around for some yarn and I found this thing and I'm like, okay, so I have never seen this. I don't even know what you call it. It's not a skein, it's not a hank, it's not a donut, a frisbee. I guess we're gonna call this a frisbee of yarn. So I saw this frisbee of yarn chilling on the end cap of one of the aisles and I was like okay I'm intrigued I almost said Karen cake no it is Karen yarn from Yarnspiration and it's called Karen Colorama Ogo and it's claiming to be tangle free and quick start so if you look right on the thing right here apparently we're gonna take this part off and it's gonna look like one of those like neck pillows and you're gonna be able to pull right from the edge, theoretically making it impossible to end up with a tangled pile of yarn carnage, which I can definitely appreciate that. Am I skeptical? Yes, 100%, super, super skeptical. But like, honestly, I'm willing to give it a go. So I snatched one of them up. And also the other reason that I was like, okay, I need to try this is because for the most part, like you see right here, the colors that they had was just a bunch of different random colors they were all like self striping or like on the back here once again you can see that you can easily pull these apart so if you wanted to use them in a different order you know basically you get looks like five colors with the ones that have a bunch of different colors in it but then I saw that they did have solid colors so they had a black and a gray at the Joanne store and I should pull it up and see if they have different colors so no it looks like they have a black a gray and a white solid oh my gosh I love it so the white solid is called sticky rice the gray is called pave the way and black is biker jacket obviously I had to choose the biker jacket so this right now is going for $8.99 so like one of these and it says that you can use one of these and in three hours you can create this hat okay once again very very cool it says to use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook which is awesome it means it's gonna work up really really quick and I mean you could probably tell that from right off the bat it's big thick and chunky type of yarn if you've used Karen yarn before you, you know what it is it's the 100% acrylic I think let me double check before I get into it yes 100% acrylic number five bulky on here okay so my bad for the hat, it suggests using a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook or knitting needles. But on the bottom, it suggests using a six millimeter crochet hook or a six millimeter set of knitting needles here. So that's interesting. And I mean, I guess I get it because this pattern is like cable and everything. If I were to guess this is like the knitted version, no way is this crochet, but that's okay because on the back here, it says, okay, new format, patent pending, of course, amazing. Then it has this little code here that in a second, we're gonna go ahead and scan this. I'm just gonna scan it right now, to be honest. And it says you can scan for free patterns. So I'm interested to see if this is like scan for this free pattern or if they have like more patterns for just this frisbee of yarn in general. Yes, so it says Karen knit hat on the go. Okay, that makes sense. I should have just looked at the bottom here. It says knit hat on the go pattern. Okay, well I didn't need to do this, but whatever, here we are. So it is a brand new pattern, very, very cool. So just go ahead and download it for free. It looks like that's it. So that's the only pattern here so since this is a knitted project or pattern that is free on the back here obviously i'm gonna have to pick something different so i can go ahead and crochet this up but i think i'm gonna go along the same line and just choose one of my hat patterns that way i can see if i can actually get one crochet hat out of just one frisbee of yarn if it actually correlates over but let's just pop this open if i can do it without completely tearing it because i see some stuff on the bottom too so yeah that just pops out really nice like that Perfect, okay, freaking cool. Like this is so cool, oh my gosh. And all right, let's read, let's read the instructions first before I completely destroy it and do it totally wrong. To begin, that's what I'm looking for. So it says one, two, three, it has little instructions on the inside here. One, two, three, and you're ready to go crochet or knit your own hat. So to begin with the Ogo, locate the end of the yarn, oh. Oh, there's like some stretchy thing in there. It's like a little plastic band, I guess. 
inside here. Carefully cut the plastic tie where ends of Ogo meet. Should've just kept reading. Good job, Kayla. So I need to pull this apart. At first I need to go ahead and get some scissors. I was not ready for this. All right, so it says pull it apart and cut this strand. Huh. Hold on to both sides. That's probably what I would suggest. So legitimately, honestly, it goes with my outfit. I just have this vision in my head now that I'm like in the car and pulling the end here. Let's see if I can find the end. Oh, it's right here. Legitimately just have it around my neck crocheting as I go. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is gonna be a vibe. This is how we're gonna travel this year, ghouls. We're gonna have our neck pillow of yarn crocheting as we go. Make sure you have extra in your car wherever you're traveling so when your neck pillow is all done and actually worked up into whatever you're making, a hat or something, you can have another little cozy one. I should have got two. What was I thinking? Okay, but as the concept of this goes, this was actually very easy. Okay, cool. So we have this. It pulled apart really easily and yeah, uh, I would say 100% very easy to start. I didn't even really have to look that hard for it. I just pulled it. I'm gonna go ahead and work this up, see if it actually works as easy easily as it says, and if it never gets tangled. So putting it to the test. Since it did say that you could use a six or a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook with this yarn, I figured I'd go ahead and try out both of them. So I just went ahead and used a six millimeter for the ribbing of my hat because I want it to be a little bit tighter there. And there you can see my tension is actually pretty tight and I'm working in a back loop and it's still not even getting caught. Obviously I am going a little bit slower and I would say it is on the tighter side, but honestly it worked pretty well. So I'd say it's still a pretty good option. Six or a 6.5 millimeter. I noticed that as I worked with it, the yarn was like wrapped around like the core inside. So it would pull a layer off the top and then it would work its way back and kind of just go back and forth on this whole like I don't know, for lack of a better word, neck pillow. It would just work from one direction to the next. And it was kind of odd working with it just because I had never worked with anything like this before and how it was laying. But honestly, I wouldn't say that it was more difficult than working with like a cake of yarn. It's just the pressure of tension was a little bit different. So I just had to get used to that. Here is the hat all finished. Like I said, it was just really, really quick and easy. And then I threw a little pom-pom on top of this because did this one have it? Yeah, this one had a pom-pom on here, but I'm not messing around with those. I'm not gonna make my own. It's honestly like my worst nightmare is making pom-poms and all the extra stuff that flies everywhere. I'm not about that life. So I just threw on a little faux fur pom-pom. It was white, but then I threw on some red dye onto it to make it this nice little like winter horror hat. This is definitely a winter hat though too. Like if you were thinking maybe you could go ahead and use this for the springtime or maybe even like the fall, I would argue probably not because it is thick and chunky bulky like even just throwing it on for like two seconds it is hot like this is warm this is already my head is like hey we're overheating can we not tangle free is what it claimed to be did it do that yeah I guess for this one hat that I made it did not get tangled also it did say quick start I would say yes it was quick start all you had to do was find that little strand cut through that and you could easily find where it started from there. It did say that it took one of these little frisbees to make a hat. This one in fairness did have cables on it and I didn't do that. I honestly just did half double crochet. That was it. Just super simple and easy but having said that I have all of this left. So it is basically like still a neck pillow. Like half is missing so I can only rest on the right hand side now but there is still a lot of this neck pillow left here. Like I said it kind of ended up being exactly the way I thought it was going to be. It was start here and then it unwinds, unwinds, unwinds and it kind of moves its way back and unwinds a little bit more that way. And I'm assuming that is why it doesn't get tangled up which like I said I didn't really have any troubles with it so it worked really well for me. Would I end up using this again or buying or purchasing this again? I mean, I don't know why not. Honestly, it's kind of a fun little thing. Like I said, it's a different way to go about yarns, which is kind of cool and like changes things up. It's a thick yarn. We're starting to get into that cooler type of weather, which obviously I'm gonna make more hats like this. So yeah, I would definitely get more of this. Honestly, just fun.
that's really all it is. It was fun, 6.5 millimeter, it works up quick. I love quick and easy type of hats. Less than an hour to make this, uh, including dyeing the pom-pom and a little bit of my fingers. I definitely did that as well, but you know, like just solid colors. It wasn't all just the multicolor like they show on here, which I have nothing against multicolor, but most of the time, I am I just want a black. I just want a plain black yarn. I would definitely suggest this as a beginner-friendly type of yarn, like if you're just getting into to crochet and you're like, I don't know, should I try this? I mean, yeah, definitely try it. That looks weird. I'm gonna fold that up. There we go. <laughs> that is the other thing. It just like, it just takes some getting used to because I'm just used to like Hanks, donuts, skeins. I'm used to all that stuff. And then this one's like, how do you hold it? How do you, how do you handle it afterwards? You know, I'm just, it, it's different. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just different and I need to get used to it. But anyways, beginner friendly yarn. Yes, absolutely. It doesn't get snagged on your hook. It's thick. It's going to make nice stitches. Like obviously on here, it was really, really easy to see. No deterring factors for me. Literally not a bad thing that I can think of to say about this. It does what it says, it does what it claims, and it makes a really quick hat. Yeah, there's nothing for me to be mad about. And you know, if the only reason that you're wanting to order this is because you're like, I don't know, it looks kind of cool and the way to set it out and like display it in my own yarn dungeon, I'd say go for it, honestly, because it is super fun and how they have them all displayed and like set up, that could look really, really cool in your very own yarn dungeon. So let me know in the comments down below if that's you, like don't be ashamed about it at all because like I said, I love displaying yarn. So the fact that this is something totally different, yeah, I might have to go back and order a couple more of these. So let me know in the comments down below if that is totally you and like what colors are you most excited about. But that is it. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out, checking out this new yarn, making a brand new horror hat here, getting ready once again for Halloween. Have a fantastically spooky day and I will see you in my next video.